Hi, this is going to be a real quick Photoshop tip um, 3D and it's just going to show you the benefits of having cube wrap. This is something that was brought in in CS5 previous to that you just had cube and it's a mesh preset so I'll show you it. I've just created a new document and I've got a new layer filled with grey. I'm going to come to the 3D, new mesh, mesh preset and cube wrap. Now previous to CS5 you had the option of a cube. From in CS5 you had cube wrap and cube and now in CS6 you've just got cube wrap. This is CS6 extended I'm using. Now when it was just cube you had to edit each side, each side's material separately which if you just wanted the same material on all sides could be very time consuming. So in CS5 they added cube wrap which basically allows you to apply one material and it will apply it to all sides which kind of sped things up. Um, and now in CS6 they've kept the cube wrap but dropped the cube. So your only option is to apply uh, materials and options uh, change the properties for the whole cube so that's all six sides top bottom and the four sides around the edge so let's just do that we'll come to the cube material and we'll just include an environment so we can add a reflection load texture open set the reflection up um, maybe come to the light and bring it back cube material let's just change the background up a little bit so I don't know So there you go. That's a um, quick tip of using cube wrap. Now, if you ain't got CS6 and you've only got CS5, um, it's probably more relevant to you, seeing as the, since the CS6 is the only option, as I said. But um, still good to know. And rather than spending all that time editing each side, if you've got CS5, um, just choose the cube wrap option, and makes life a bit easier. Okay. So um, catch you next time.